Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, my name is Annie Bukacek. It's B-U-K-A-C-E-K. -E I'm a physician in Kalispell. I have written testimony here as well. Can I just walk down? And... There are many reasons I'm against oh, oh, uh, President Obama's health care bill. Is that, is that right? Uh, my primary reason has to do with that. I, I don't know if it's right, but it will keep the peace. Thank okay. you so much. Um, my primary reason is the decline in, in the quality of health care that will inevitably occur. I base this on my personal experience of working with uh, the government-run programs, Medicare and Medicaid, also with studying various health care, uh, government-run health care programs in other countries. And I'm, in my handout, I show some statistics uh, that compare the United States to England and Canada. Um, England was one of the first in the 20th century to develop a government-run health care. Canada was one of the most recent. Um, if you could take a, a look at that. Um, it comes from the 2010 Investors Business Daily article, and it's based on a survey by the United Nations International Health Organization. These statistics provide evidence for what to many is obvious. The delays in diagnosis and treatment under government-run health care programs result in poorer outcomes. It's inevitable when you have limited financial resources and limited number of physicians that there will be rationing and those patients with the most urgent needs are the ones that are going to be most adversely affected. There was a famous case in Quebec where a man um, sued the government because he was told he couldn't have joint replacement for a year. He won his case against the government and the, the Supreme Court justice that ruled in the case said, made the statement, access to a waiting list does not constitute access to health care. The U.S. is second to none in its quality of health care. On the back of my handout, I refute allegations that state otherwise. These health care acts must be nullified as they will produce a health care quality, quality crisis by furthering the physician shortage, rationing of health care, focusing on maintaining bureaucracy rather than on patient care. Initiative and financing for new technologies and treatments will dry up. There will be invasion of patient privacy and erosion of the doctor-patient relationship. On a quick personal note, um, I started my private medical practice in, in, in uh, August of 2003. I took no income for the first year and a half because I'm somebody that just really cannot stand debt. I did everything I could to get out of debt. Uh, for the first seven years, my family had no health insurance. We chose to do that. The important word is chose to do that rather than increase our business debt. So I'm one of the alleged 46 million that doesn't have insurance, and I'm a physician. And I'm one of those... Uh, estimated 43% of the, of the alleged 46 million that chose not to have it. And uh, my not having insurance didn't cause, cost taxpayers or anybody else a dime. So I, I just please, uh, I just ask you to please uh, preserve this right to choose.